Yeah, it's been going really well. Um, the squad's been training pretty hard since about the end of March, sort of towards the end of the, the season as it runs in Shetland. So we've been training twice a week, Tuesday nights and Thursday nights since then. Um, we've started building in third and fourth nights and some of the players have been organising their own practice matches as well as that. So it's kind of well done, quite, quite full on just now. Yeah, yeah, it's very much, I suppose, a young team this time. Um, four new players into the team, four that's not been to the years before. Um, we've got six that were last time. Um, but generally the team is a very young team this time. Mm. And there's lots of family connections as well in the squad? Yeah, we've got the usual story in the badminton team. Uh, we've got a brother and sister playing uh, together as Dean and uh, Laura Guffrey. We also have Amy and Stuart Simi playing together. And then Gordon Keith, uh, who won a medal last time, is playing with his middle daughter, uh, Amy, this time. Yeah. To life. <laughs> <laughs> um, in terms of opposition and things as well, what, what are you expecting in Gotland this time around for, for the teams you're going to be facing? I think in general terms the standard has gone up every time we've gone. The group match, the, the, the team event is the first two days of the, of the games and we've got a really tough draw. Uh, we've drawn the number one seeds which is Fairy and Gotland which is the home team. Um, and we're also just in a group of three, so it's a really tough ask this time. Um, does it feel a little bit more real now? I've been talking about this for a while, I've, I've been writing about it for a while, but the, the days are, are kind of counting down now. I suppose. Yeah, once you get to, suddenly, suddenly it's two weeks to go and you wonder how that happened, but it, yeah, it becomes very real because everything's uh, in the last minute preparations are, are going ahead really. Um, you think you're not quite there, you've not done enough training, you're not quite prepared enough. You wonder if you've got the players to the standard they need to be at, but really at this stage it's just about doing as much as we can before we go. It's going to be your ninth game this time around. Be, yes. Yeah, are you looking forward to it? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, have they changed much over that period of time Definitely since you first got started? Bigger. Yeah. Definitely got bigger. The first one was just upper eight nine hundred maybe competing, and it's now near well three thousand level. Yeah. Obviously, in all the different sports, plus there's been extra sports added, extra islands joined. Mm. So yeah, much bigger. Has it got more competitive as well? Do you think of the years? Or? I think it's always been quite competitive. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And looking back on that, lots of happy memories for you for, for the games over that, that mm -hmm. period. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I'm looking ahead now, I suppose, we've around about two weeks to go. Uh -huh. How's the preparation been going for the games for, for you this time around? It, it's good. We've, I think we have a lot of work to do. I don't know if we're going to get it all crammed into two weeks, but, but uh, mainly trying to build for the future, trying to get a lot of the, the young ones a wee bit of experience and hopefully hook them into it and they'll get a feel for it and want to do it for themselves going forward.